So it finally happened. It seems like they're completely losing their minds. Instagram announced, not our old friend Mazira this time, but Zuckerberg himself announced that you'll be able to get the verified badge on Facebook and Instagram by paying for it monthly. Yes, you heard that right, my friends. Hmm. Where have we heard that before, huh? And where are suddenly the people losing their minds like they did with Twitter? one month ago or so anyway suddenly it seems like it's just a normal thing and it's okay for a platform to collect monthly payments for that sweet verification batch the interesting thing though is that it's not just about getting that batch in this case there's other benefits you get for the monthly price of just 11.99 or 14.99 if you decide you want to subscribe through the apple or android in-app thing which is another thing that i kind of need to talk about at some point because anyway and that's the crazy thing about it these benefits apparently include increased visibility and reach so yeah let's talk about what this new verification thing really is who it's for why i think it actually has a few good benefits to it and then let's talk about this one particular thing that really makes me think they lost their minds to be honest so yeah zuckerberg my my friend he's not our old friend but he basically said the following this week he said this week by the way also in his broadcast channel on instagram you know utilizing the new feature but he said this week we're starting to roll out meta verify a subscription service that lets you verify your account with a government id get a blue badge get extra impersonation protection against accounts claiming to be you and get direct access to customer support which so far sounds actually pretty good for everybody who's serious about creating content because yeah we know it customer support especially on instagram not there non-existent basically on youtube by the way too they've demonetized my videos for three months already due to a bug and creator support just doesn't seem to care and just continues to give me the same generic crap response so yeah it's not always greener on the other side with that being said my friends the blue check mark used to be the epitome of social media success so much that a whole underground marketplace for getting this whole thing emerged in the past years people were offering me also by the way 10 to twenty thousand dollars to get verified on instagram and it's still a pretty thriving business path i guess <laughs> mainly the way it works is you pay shady journalists for uh, getting publications, for example, in Forbes, right? Or Business Insider, etc., making it almost impossible not to get verified just for the price of a nice little car. I really wanna know what those people are thinking right now who are in the process right now, having just shelled out $15,000 to get this uh, verified badge last week or something. Yeah. Now, all of that is about to change. Everybody will be able to get their verified badge. And um, the main reasons why I actually think it's an okay-ish deal for a series creators is to combat these impersonator accounts. I personally had the hugest issues with them. People were getting scammed in my name, basically. And um, I mean, yeah, of course, natural selection kind of, right? Not being able to see through a scam like this warrants certain not gonna say it but still still we don't want that right we're all friends so for me for example it makes a lot of sense and to be able to request the verification badge you need to be either right now in australia or in new zealand Thailand, or new zealand even though i'm sure they'll expand this globally pretty soon the other thing you need to be 18 years old have an active account that's posting and you need to submit a government id that matches the profile name and the photo of the facebook or instagram account you're applying for ah uh, yes we all know how meta or facebook has a perfectly clean history of not losing confidential user data for example <laughs> so nothing to worry about when you send in your id to them also they say and this is actually a good thing in my opinion subscriptions will include proactive monitoring for account impersonation right pretty good but now my friends let's talk about this one weird thing that's uh, in my opinion actually pretty strange they say you'll get increased visibility and reach with prominence in some areas of the platform like search very interesting comments and rocket recommendations so yeah basically it's pay to win to be honest there's nothing else i can say they say and this is where it actually gets interesting they say increased visibility may vary depending on a subscriber's existing audience size and the topic of their posts and the topic of their posts so you can pay to win but certain topics they don't like about it, they will still not you know help out even though you pay so 
I don't have anything to say about that. They also say subscribers with a smaller following may see a more noticeable impact to their reach since their audiences are smaller. Pretty interesting as well, and we'll see how that will pan out. They also say, and that's another interesting thing, businesses are not eligible right now. So yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, you need to have a creator account and not a business account. Another weird thing is they say at this time, Meta Verified will only support your real name on your profile. Once your profile is verified, you can't change the profile name, username, date of birth, photo on your profile, or photo on your profile. So you can't change the profile picture uh, without going through the Meta Verified subscription verification application process again. But the real name thing is a little bit weird, to be honest, especially on Instagram. Maybe they just mean Facebook right now with this particular thing. And usually Missouri always talks about, yeah, we don't have a, we will never have a real name policy on Instagram as opposed to Facebook. And yeah, we're going to see, because then, for example, I would need to not put, hey, Dominic in there, but my whole real actual name, which is obviously Dominic DeCoco. And uh, yeah, that might make things strange to some people so all in all a pretty interesting move to be honest it's just very funny to see how when per one person just goes sort of the other way like elon musk with twitter blue first of all everybody just starts screaming and saying what is going on has he lost his mind two weeks later they all come and do the same thing well it's just i guess same thing with an apple headphone jack by the way and samsung and same thing with my life I've always been the outcast the nut job for not doing what I'm supposed to do like people normal people do it and guess who's laughing now right ignoring the DMs of old friends wanting me to help them and showing them how life can be cool just putting that out there now even if you're verified if you got that reach boost they say you're still gonna need to create content people actually enjoy otherwise you'll quickly see this whole thing was for nothing and this video will show you some actual hands-on strategies how to create a content plan that makes you grow fast